Zion Williamson better turn into 6'9 real quick. Because Zion Williamson is being forced. Let me not say forced. But the judge has given him no choice but to snitch on Duke. He has to snitch on Duke for paying him to attend the school. We don't know if it's true yet. But Zion Williamson has to testify in court whether it's true or not. Before I had reported that Zion Williamson's former agent kind of sued him after Zion sued the company when he wanted to get out of the contract. So Zion Williamson wanted to switch agencies or whatever management. So he sued his managing company. But then the managing company sued him back. They sued Zion back saying that, hey, listen, Zion Williamson was paid by Duke University. They gave him money. They gave him privileges. They gave him sponsorships for him to attend the school. Now, apparently the parents were the ones who accepted the gift. But Zion Williamson has to testify in court that that happened. Now, if Zion Williamson snitches on Duke University, their reputation is over in terms of credibility because now people are going to question every single top player that goes to the school. And I think that an investigation will be made every single time. I really don't know how that would work because it's going to be a lot more talent coming to Duke University. And now people are going to be like, wait, did they pay him to be there? And if you guys know the NCAA, they don't allow players to be paid. So how does that work? How would this play out? I really don't know. And it's interesting because, well, I like Zion Williamson. I think he's a good kid. I really don't know if his parents played a major part in this in terms of saying, hey, son, listen, we need the money. We need this. We need that. Attend the school. They might have been like, ah, look, I mean, we're being offered. Why not? They probably took it as a gift. But when it comes to law, you can accept that gift because it's a way for Duke University to pay Zion to give him sponsorships that any other player would not get for him to attend Duke University. Now, who wins in that situation? Well, Duke wins because, well, you're getting the top player with this much hype since LeBron James. So obviously, their viewership is going to go up. They're going to make a lot more money. They're going to sell a lot of Zion jerseys. They're going to sell out arenas, everything. Now, Zion also wins because he gets to go to the NBA playing for Duke. That's a top destination. That's like playing for the Lakers. Everyone's going to see you. In my opinion, no matter what school he would have went to, he still would have went number one. But he chose to go to Duke University and now he's in the NBA. This is a tricky situation. But just to recap, all of this is happening because of a simple thing. Zion Williamson wanted to switch management. So he sued his management company to get out the contract. Then the management company countersued him. They basically told the judge that, hey, listen, Zion owes us money. And also he took favors from Duke University to attend the school. So, tricky situation. We're going to get more details, but you guys let me know what you think. And I'm out.